Everyone is looking for purpose. We all want to know why are we here. We want to know that we're making a difference. We want to know that our life matters. I've been on that journey and uh, three years ago I started a personal project called The Blessing. When I was a child my dad read a book called The Blessing. And the book talked about the blessing way back in biblical times when Isaac gave the blessing to Jacob. And back in those days, the blessing, when a father gave it to a son, those words were written in stone. It would come to pass. They told them their future. So we started a family tradition. Um, every birthday, the birthday child would sit on an ottoman in the middle of the room. And there were a lot of children in my family. Um, but we would go around the room and each person would say something that they thought was unique and special about the birthday child. And then we would go around again and everyone would pray a blessing over that child. I remember words that were spoken to me. Uh, my siblings would say things like, I think you're creative. And my parents would say things like, you will be the head and not the tail, quoting scripture. When words like that are spoken to a child, especially intentional words, words that are specifically meant for them, things that you see in them, something inside them awakens. You see their eyes, they get a little bigger. You see a smile creep across their face because you're speaking directly into their heart. Paul and I have been together for a long time, so I was pretty young when I experienced my first blessing. All the Privet children ran into the living room. There's seven of them, so it was a full house. And Joshua sat on the ottoman. And the siblings went around, Malcolm and Dee, and they started speaking a blessing over Joshua. And to be honest, I was a little bit uncomfortable because these words are words that you don't normally hear spoken and words that aren't necessarily easy to say but words that gave Joshua life and power and purpose. So I'm a photographer and this project for me started as a photography project. I wanted to be able to help families write the words of a blessing and then combine the power of a portrait with the gift of a blessing. So I was given that gift as a child by my parents by my family, and now it's my responsibility to pass it on to my children, to my four boys. I must tell them the things that I see in them, the gifts that I believe that they have, even a vision for their future. When I say those things to them, their eyes lock on because it's truth. And here's the question. If I don't say that to them, the person who knows them best, and who will. So through this project, Kristen created three questions, uh, three seemingly simple yet very profound questions that help families find those words. We had a client tell us he knew what he wanted to say. Everything was up there. But it wasn't until he went through the three questions that he was actually able to put it on paper. I knew that pulling the words was going to be a little bit of a process. But I had experienced for the last 15 years how the Privets gave a blessing. And whether they realize it or not, there is a formula that they follow. And so what I did with our families was I figured out three very simple questions that I could ask them, and the order mattered that I asked these questions in, and just could slowly take them to that place where they could truly start expressing what they so desperately wanted to tell the person that they loved. I want you to understand the difference between the blessing and praise. Praise is for a job well done, and that's a very important thing to say to our loved ones. 
But a blessing is different. A blessing is saying, this is a God-given gift that I see in you. This is the future that I know you will be able to achieve. I want to help you find those words. I want to help you be able to tell your child how much you love them. I want to help you to find the words to tell your husband how grateful you are for him. I want you to be able to tell your father how much you love him. I've been given this gift and I have to share it. I can't photograph the world, but here's the thing. This is so much bigger than photography. What I can do is I can teach the world how to give a blessing. My purpose is to give purpose. My brothers are metalsmiths. We're going to make this by hand. My brothers will source and process the metal. I will paint it. We will engrave it. It will be framed by hand. This is from my family. I will help you write the words. We will create this for someone you love. When you give this gift, I want you to speak the words out loud. 